you so much uh, for joining us here today. You know, some pretty strong results here, and I see that your retail sales, your consolidated net sales up almost 29%. Can you talk us through a little of the details in that number? How much of that is inflation? Have you had to increase prices because of what you're faced with as a business, or is it pure demand from consumers? Well, first of all, good to be on the call, and uh, um, and yes, it's, it's a number of factors. First is, of course, you've got to be in a position uh, where you're able to do it, which is you've got to have the right offerings. You've got to have the ability to have the have the have the right people. You, in our case, we are a vertically integrated company, mm -hmm. from manufacturing to retail to interior design, a lot of technology. All of those factors have helped. So I believe that uh, the another important factor has been for all of us that there has been a tremendous amount of focus in the home in the last two years that helped us develop strong backlogs. And as we uh, were able to make the products, you know, keep in mind, 75% of the products we make in North America in our workshops, that's a great, great advantage. The, all of those factors helped us in making this happen. Look, we have got 1,500 interior designers in-house, and they are the ones who made it possible to work with clients. Today, their personal service combined with technology made it happen. So in short, it is a combination of the fact of consumer demand. It's a combination of our ability to have this interior design network our ability to manufacture, to deliver, and also, you're right, there has been inflationary uh, pressures that has helped increase some prices, but for most of what you have seen today, those inflationary prices have not impacted this deliveries as yet. And you brought up a point there in your answer that I actually uh, think is really key here with everything else that we've talked about through the last several years of the difficulties that retailers have faced, not the least of which is the supply chain, but three quarters of your manufacturing is done here right in North America. So can you explain to me how then you have this backlog of orders if I assume that you're not as trapped in this global supply chain as some other competitors might be? So what's going on with the backlog? Well, first of all, you're to, to, to have the 75% manufacturing in North America has not been easy. You know, I, I, 20 years back, I decided that we would consolidate our manufacturing in North America. We had at that time uh, 27 manufacturing plants. Many of our competitors went offshore. We said, no, we will maintain in North America. We went to Vermont, which is, of course, our home, home base. And from there, we went to North Carolina. We were all these places, but that was not enough. So we went about 20 years back to south of the border to Mexico. Then we went to Honduras. When you combine all of this, it gives us a great opportunity on the supply side. And that uh, was tremendously important. Now, having said this, we still had issues. For instance, there were issues of getting parts. There were the issues of uh, lumber, even though we <laughs> go to the forests ourselves in Vermont and we have our own sawmills and lumber yards, hmm. but still there were, there were challenges. So there were challenges of transportation. Hmm. Uh, and, on, and, and especially while this was taking place, we had exceedingly high demand from customers. So all of that combined did create a backlog. We still have it, but the fact is if we did not have this manufacturing in North America. And keep in mind, 75% of our products are made custom. Right. So and that is a very different uh, business model.